simulates CPR recorder with iPad control. The recorder can run on AC power and charge the battery at the same time. To turn on, press the button. The light indicates that the unit is powered. On the end, you have the power switch, unit serial number, and AC power plug. The removable mouthpiece and jaw with jaw thrust. The mouthpiece can be replaced and cleaned. Note the recess of the retaining ring. Note the range of jaw thrust. The retaining ring pops off the lung check valve. The check valve pops out of the jaw for replacement. Operation of the unit with BVM. Note chest rise. To replace the lower portion of the lung assembly, open the skin overlay, slide up over the shoulder. This exposes the lung bag and connection to the airflow sensor. Once the lung check valve is removed from the jaw, release the lung sensor connection and replace with new lung. Reattach lung check valve as previously shown. Power on the trainer and allow two to three minutes for the Wi-Fi to do its diagnostics. Connecting the Wi-Fi. Go to settings, then Wi-Fi. The CPR recorder will appear. Select the CPR recorder. Get out of the setting and go to the CPR Recorder app and start it. Key Functions Settings Results Students and Simulator Controls First select the setting you want to test to. Note Calibration Button this is only done in factory and is accessed with a password. Default settings for American Heart Association 2005 and 2010, tap to select. You can use metric or SAE measurements. You can customize settings for your own training. For this example, we will have minimum depth set to 1.5 inches. You can select to test only compressions or compressions and ventilations. You can set the length of time to test. Once settings are made, you need to establish at least one student. To add student, tap the plus sign and fill in information. Running simulation. Start CPR recorder. Note the CPR recorder button pauses as it links. Select a student and tap the arrow. 
features of the control screen, start and stop buttons, box for compressions, and box for ventilations. Note an NA would appear if testing for compressions only, battery charge level, results tab on lower right. When start tapped, note graphs appear and the time bar changing color. For compressions only, those that go beyond the minimum depth and show full release will count. For ventilations, only those exceeded the minimum volume will count and then only two at a time per ventilation interval. On the control screen, data for completed compressions, rate per minute and per second. When we go to the results, you can pull down the list of training. The bottom will be the most current. This session was incomplete, so there is a low score, but it reflects the quality as well as the quantity of what was completed. You can also export the as a PDF by tapping the PDF. You can also access reports through the results button. Note the same report. Simulate CPR recorder with iPad control. It's that easy.